Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. All right, let's check in with Tom, who is live in our Plattsburgh studio. What a gorgeous day. Three for three so far this week. All right, hang on a second here. I want to know what you guys did today in the sun. Alice? I walked my dog. Okay, that's good. Brian? Yeah. I walked my dog. <laughs> did you guys do that together? No. Okay, no. just check it. All right. We're puppy I got out there too. It was, it was just too nice to be in, wasn't it? Oh, man. What a gorgeous day. Well, let me give you some weather headlines here. It's not going to be as cold tonight. You're going to notice a big difference tonight into the beginning of tomorrow. We are expecting more clouds around here tomorrow. Not quite as warm as today, but still unseasonably warm. But then rain, and it is going to be cooler later this week. Let's take a look at what's going on in Montpelier. This looks great, doesn't it? Mm, love this. Montpelier's Golden Dome right there looking at the state house where it is 64 degrees we've got a wind from the south these days at nine miles an hour no big surprise that it is from the south that is the warm direction st albans how are you guys doing tonight you're at 66 stowe at 67 white face 57 but potsdam just a couple away from 70 degrees lots of 60s in the connecticut river valley including lebanon right now 69 and Bennington at 67. Let's talk about that trend because this is fun. We changed Thursday around just a little bit. We're going to go for it. We're thinking we're going to hit 70 degrees. So 62 tomorrow for a high. Then we pop up to 70 on Thursday, just 61 Friday. And then it definitely starts to cool down around here for Saturday, also into Sunday. But temperatures in the 40s, I mean, that's closer to where we should be. It's still unseasonably mild by just a couple of degrees. You may have noticed a few more clouds uh, in the offing for the afternoon and certainly into this evening because of what's coming in from the west. Tomorrow ends up being a mostly cloudy day. So rain showers on the way because of this system, I think, tomorrow night. Not a lot of them, and it looks like for the most part tomorrow is going to be dry. Maybe an exception in northern New York with a late day rain shower. But in the Champlain Valley, I'm pretty sure we're looking at a lot of clouds out there. And again, temperatures are going to get into the 60s again. But we can kind of nail down what's going to happen with Futurecast. 7 o'clock tonight, a lot of high clouds. Take you through the overnight, and it's partly to mostly cloudy, depending on what time you're looking around. Here's the thing. First thing in the morning, maybe a shower. Better chance by later in the day in parts of northern New York. Best chances will be tomorrow night. Very beginning of Thursday, the odd rain shower could be hanging around, especially like at the beginning of our morning show, 4.35 o'clock. And then it becomes partly sunny for your Thursday. Decent day before the rain arrives on Friday. Partly to mostly cloudy tonight. Temperatures 30s off to the east. We'll call it either side of 40 degrees right in the Champlain Valley. And then for tomorrow becoming mostly cloudy. So a lot of 50s in the Adirondacks, 59 Plattsburgh along with Keysville. Meanwhile, we're talking 62 degrees in Burlington. Johnson at 60, mostly cloudy for pretty much everybody by afternoon, even a little bit sooner than that. Ludlow 54, Stratton at 46. All right, let's do it. Champlain Valley, 62 tomorrow, maybe a late-day sprinkle. 70 degrees, could see an early morning shower on your Thursday. becomes partly sunny. It rains on Friday, Saturday, and then into Sunday. Well, Sunday, a little bit messy because temperature's dropping. A little bit of rain to snow, some snow showers around on Monday. Note, a little bit cooler than it has been, but still, we're in the 40s and 50s for the most part.